hello everyone we are going to do a reading today and see what is coming through all right so we will take a look and i just wanted to say this reading is for all star signs if you are here hello and welcome i feel like this is a sign that there are messages for you if you wanted to um, win a free reading with me check out the description box below since i do giveaways every single month if you wanted to purchase any personal services with me they are always on my website shopmeliteguidance.com and also my um, website is linked down below in the description box as well there's personal tarot readings on there um, rituals to manifest different areas of your life there's black magic energy removal protection ritual, rituals for love, money, success, career, healing, prayers, and so much more. And there's also the thousands of five-star reviews at the bottom of my website for the intention items, which are super, super special. They are handmade, meditated with, and saged, which thousands of you will have seen results with. But there's um, candles, sage bundles, teas, um, bracelets, necklaces, things that you can put under your pillow um, or keep around you and things like that. So everything's always down below and let's start with your reading. All right, so let's have a look and see three of cups judgment ace of wands I'll show you all of this as I go as I go through it. I'm just gonna move this other deck out of the way as well. Okay, we got we got quite a lot of information to go through here. So what I want to say is that Three of Cups came out first, and I feel here that there's someone that's always very heavily swayed by their influences around them, okay? I feel like this is a person that you know or that you've known um, who you may have had, you know, feelings for, you may have felt very attracted to them, and they seem to be very influenced by friends. They seem to be very influenced by sort of people around them that just, they hang around with in a very social way quite often. And these people have a tendency to really put things into their mind and sort of make them feel like, oh yeah, I should just live my life and I should just be free and I should just do this and I should just do that and I should just do this. And your person gets very sort of swept up into that and just feels like, oh yeah, like they're all doing that. So it must be the right thing to do. And, you know, they get confused because on one hand they feel your energy, which is very mature, very grounded, very humble, very warm, very kind, very stable, which is something that deep down they really crave. You know, they they crave that sort of traditional aspect of commitment and having someone be there and, and having, you know, a warm, beautiful relationship and really, you know, having someone who is there. And then on the other hand, you know, they, they have sort of distractions of people that just want to be low vibrational and want to just do whatever they want to do and not be very mature and be like this and be like this and be like this, you know? So they get very, very confused very easily. And, you know, they just kind of get swept up in all of that, especially with judgment. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel here that you have such a beautiful energy and sometimes you blame yourself and sometimes you try to, you try to make yourself be more relatable to your person because you want to be accepted by them. But the thing here is that they kind of act a bit like a clown. I really shouldn't say that. It's not a very nice thing to say, is it? But people go through phases, okay? People go through phases. They're sort of in their clown phase right now. Um, I'm not saying that they're going to be in that phase forever, but you don't want to be a clown, okay? You, you don't want to be in that energy. You're a diamond. You're a diamond. You literally bring this and they know that you bring this. You bring warmth. You bring stability you bring understanding compassion and empathy and love okay when you bring all of that why are you stooping to their level to try and be relatable to them okay because the thing here is that you should never set yourself on fire to keep someone else warm because that only hurts you and burns you and so don't be the clown okay be yourself you are a diamond diamonds are rare diamonds are not found anywhere else they are worth a lot and they are very, very precious. You are precious. Be yourself. Love yourself. Okay? This is very, very important. Um, there are pebbles. There are diamonds. There are pebbles everywhere. Diamonds are not everywhere, right? <laughs> you, you can't just like walk down a street and just be like, oh, a diamond. It's very rare that you'd ever find a diamond just randomly on a street, but pebbles are everywhere, right? 
So kind of acting like a clown right now. It's a phase, okay? It's a phase. It's something that they have to learn from. They have to grow from by themselves. Do not stoop to that kind of level to be a clown, to be more relatable to them just because you're desperate to want them. Don't be desperate, right? Because this person is going to learn. They are going to grow. They are going to be aware that, oh my gosh, these people were not a good influence on me. You know, these people were telling me all these things. They didn't really have my back. They don't really care about me. They just are so low vibrational, superficial and materialistic and just very not good. They will actually learn by themselves that these people, okay, that they are hanging around with are not good. Don't then try to become one of these people because when your person then grows, then your person's not going to be interested in you either because you're trying to become this. But this is a phase. Don't become this, okay? Be the queen of pentacles. They will take time. They will learn their lessons. But eventually they will come to you, you know, with the king of swords. They will learn. They will grow. They will become so much more mature. They're in a bit of a clown phase right now. They're a clown right now. You're a diamond. They're not going to be a clown forever, okay? Because they will learn. They will grow. They will realize who is truly there for him really truly there for them and who isn't okay always remember right now they are a clown you're a diamond they're not gonna be a clown forever they will they will become you know much more mature because that's truly what they crave and desire from within but they have to learn the lessons in order to grow and evolve and be more at your level but you don't need to lower your level is what i'm trying to say okay because i do see that there is great potential between you both but you've got to let them learn by themselves. You've got to let them grow by themselves. You've got to let them connect those dots by themselves and to to end things by themselves. You know, by telling them like, oh, you know, those people around you, they're not very good for, for you. That's just going to make them feel kind of resentful towards you in many ways because they'll feel like you're kind of getting in the way of, you know, the people they want to hang around with. Let them realize by themselves that these people are not good for them and they will create those endings themselves, okay? Once they realize this, you live in your high vibrational energy. You take care of you. You work on your goals. You work on your dreams. You do things for you because that is what's really, really important right now. And with the magician, see, there's more communication. There's more clarity. They will come to you. They will tell you like, I can't believe that I was acting like this. I can't believe I was hanging around all those people. I can't believe that I was under the influence of all of these people. What was I doing? What was I thinking? How was I doing that? What was the reason? Oh my gosh, I can't They'll literally come to you and just spill all of that, okay? Don't be the clown, please. Do not be the clown, okay? They will change out of their clown outfit and they will realize that they were clowning around. But that doesn't mean that you need to change into a clown's outfit in order to be accepted by them. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know that some of you just really have a lot of feelings towards this person. I understand, but be that queen of pentacles because they acknowledge that within you, but they're not ready right now to properly come forward towards you. They've got some learning to do, some lessons to do. They've got to realize that these people are not good for them and they will realize by themselves through lessons that the universe will give them to make them realize that these people are not good for them, okay? And once they do that, they will go through some big, big, big awakenings. Uh, they will realize with a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating, oh my gosh, these people are not good for them, but you are, you are amazing. You're very well-rounded. I need to come towards you. I want to work towards you, I know what I want now, and then they will come to you, and they will be more at the level of a diamond. So, more of the story here is that they're clowning around right now, that is where they feel they need to be, that's not where you need to be, but what will happen is that they will learn, and they will grow, and they will heal, and they will become the bigger, better person, and they will know that what you've had inside of you has always been consistent, because the last thing you want to do is be at their level, and change yourself and then for them to be like wait you were mature one second then you were kind of trying to be like these not so great friends now i don't know whether i can even trust you or believe you you know don't you do not want to change yourself please do not change your authentic self because you know who you are you know what you what you want don't change yourself out of desperation please that is really the message of this entire reading you are a diamond okay and that is really really important because some people do have a tendency to change themselves to be more accepted by other people but that will do you that will not do you any good, trust me on this one, okay? That's the last thing that you ever want to be doing. So um, your affirmation for this reading is, I am a diamond. I am a diamond, okay? You are a diamond. 
comment it down below if this resonates with you don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below especially if this resonates with you or if you claim it don't forget to check out the description box below for information on personal services for reading giveaway intention items and everything else is literally listed down below and i will see you all very very soon all right take care everyone bye Oh, I have TikTok and Instagram. Um, if you want to follow me on there, the links are down below. I post short readings on there every single day. All right, take care, everyone.